It's Surf City tonight as we check out the 1941 Ford Woody. So grab your surfboard and let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Celescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And tonight I've got a special treat as we go down to Surf City in our 1941 Ford Woody. So what are you waiting for? Grab your surf wax and wax up your board because we're going to go hit those waves right now. Surf City, here we come. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to unbox the 1941 Ford Woody Custom Kit from AMT Ertl under Racing Champs RC2. Now this kit actually came out before the stock version of the kit and it was pretty popular. And again, it is from the superior AMT design team that was out at that time. And the first thing we're going to look at is our instructions. And there's our decals, going to go over there. Now this kit is really cool, it gives you a whole bunch of detail on what's going on inside it. And you'll note here that they've added from the stock kit, they actually added in this crazy intake manifold here with the carburetors going toward the back. That was very popular in 1990s custom car culture. And then here they give you some chromed wheels, which are very similar to older style vintage wheels of the 60s although they're a little more 90s style. Kind of hard to explain what I mean. Here they give you some really cool exhaust pipes with the dual split off the back. Uh, it's a dropped axle custom with the uh, side support hairpin radius arms. Good thing they wrote that on the instructions because I had no clue what they were called. <laughs> okay, and this is showing the rear tires. Kind of made a mistake in the last video. I said those were spare tires, but that's okay. And then it's got all your individual panels. Again, this crew of designers really, really put a lot into these kits in this era. And this was because they were competing with the higher quality that Ravel and Monogram started to put out, like Ravel's 1959 Cadillac and 1959 Chevy Impala kits. So AMT Ertl wanted to catch up on this. And so they produced this 41 Woody uh, custom street rod. And you can do the Dick Dale surf stuff with your surfboard and hang out with the big kahuna. So now let's actually take a look at the plastic parts of this kit. But before we do that, we're going to look at our decal sheet which gives you the nice wood grain paneling. So you don't even have to try to attempt to make wood grain on this. You just paint it brown inside and then put your decals over the top. So pretty cool AMT. Now I'm going to move the box out of the way. And here is the chrome. Now I'm not going to open the bag because this preserves your chrome. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's already opened. Okay, so, oh, it looks like one of the wheels is missing, but it's not. It's actually down here. So there's the four wheels. And the backing, these are your brakes. You can see all the detail there. And the nice uh, Ford front cover with the distributor cap sticking out on the rod there. Our fully chromed custom drop axle. And then the grill with the little grill inserts. Then we have our woody body. And you can see the amount of love and attention they put into building this thing. This is a very nice kit. Even got the little Ford script right there. And all the location holes for the mirrors and whatnot. And then when you look underneath, you get ribs proper ribs and the dome light. So really high tech. There's the interior panel and you can see, you can hear, oh, 
that nails on the chalkboard. But you can tell that they've put some detail on the floor mats. And underneath, then you have your frame top or bottom, frame bottom, which is a really nicely detailed. And then here's the custom pieces. Now this one doesn't have the two-speed rear differential like the actual stock kit did, but it does have the split exhaust pipes and the more modern differential. Aha! There's the hood and underneath are molded the spare tires and this is the top of the frame. And here are the interior panels and if you're into bare metal foil you can get right in there and do all your little window cranks and everything unlike the 1940 Ford model kits where all this is in a tub and there's our our front seat and the little cigarette holder in the back your ashtray it's not a cigarette holder it's an ashtray it's where cigarettes go to die <laughs> okay so there's your back of the brakes that was in the stock version and the seats and their pedals and you can see here they've added some ribs into the seats just to give them some strength here's our custom tires these were very popular AMT wheels in the 90s these are Goodyear Eagle uh, GSC's or CSC's Then we have our glass, that's the windshields. And here's that surfboard for hanging out with the big kahuna. And here we have our dashboard with the rear or the front glass actually curved in like that. And it's even got the sun visors and our door and engine parts. Lots of great detail, nice and crisp. The front splash aprons. And here is our flat piece of glass that you cut out according to the pattern and the instruction sheets. And to wrap it all off, there is the stock steering wheel in chrome, looking very, very nice. And that brings us to the end of our review of the 1941 Ford Surf Wagon Woody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the 1941 Surf Woody yeah, right here at Monster Hobbies. So if you've missed some of our more serious videos about, well, model cars, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here so we can keep that surf music going and keep our sons in the buns or buns in the suns <laughs> whatever all right so we'll see you next time on monster hobbies what's in the box